Hello, hello everybody. My name is Clutch. I play Call of Duty. This is MW3. This is a 40 and 1 kill confirm game. I believe I'm playing solo. I don't recall being in this game with anyone. It's a vault. I'm recording it straight from my vault because I don't have membership on my account, either of my Clutchy accounts at the minute, HG nor Clutchify. So I am playing on a friend's account called Yuhana. This is a gameplay from my HG Clutchy account though. And yeah, but you'll see like a few games, probably games from me until. Uh, probably, actually, probably, yeah, you'll probably see a gameplay from me on Monday on HG Hannah, or not HG Hannah, but EU Hannah, uh, just so you know that is me, don't worry, I'm not, like, stealing videos or anything like that, uh, anyway, topics for this video, uh, a lot of things, just, I'm, I'm kind of rambly at the minute, like, guys, I don't really have topics anymore, like, I'll have topics once Ghost gets here, but I'm pretty much just gonna try and give out as many tips and stuff as I can right now, uh, a lot of people have asked for tips and stuff, but one of the things I will say, the, these tips aren't necessarily for Ghost, they're for any game you really play, like, they can help you in a lot of games, but most of them will relate towards Call of Duty, though, which should help you guys out a lot, hopefully. Like, one of the things I've been asked a lot is, how do you, like, how do you stay alive? And one of the things I need to point out here, guys, is staying alive in a match is more important, I would say. It's like, you can go, say say you go 25 and 10, that's good, um, but you could probably pull it down to 25 and maybe 5, like, if you really play smart. Like, certain certain fights, like, if you see what I did there, no, oh, I'm doing right there. I peek the corner. Like, I don't go completely out. I peek it. So, like, I kind of lean my camera out just the, right, like, there I do it again. I peek just enough around to see the corner, see where I look everywhere, and then I go back around. Like, peeking corners can keep you alive so much. Just things like that, guys. Like, peek, check, move back. If you need to double check, peek again, but after a few seconds, and then you can move in. Uh, one of the other things, definitely, guys, is stun grenades. Stun grenades and general tactical nades are massive, uh, especially in Mod 3 as well and Mod 2 less in Black Ops 2, but they're still pretty good if you're playing people that don't use T-Mask. And one of the things that's quite good about stuns is I've I've always kind of called them burglar alarms, and people are like, well, what, what are you talking about, dumbass? And what I mean, when I say burglar alarm, what I mean is, like, I throw... If I think... If I'm not sure if someone's there or not, I throw a stun in, and I can kind of find out if they're in the room or not, and then if, obviously, if I get the hit marker, I'll know that they're in there, and then I make the move accordingly to what they are uh, doing. Also, another great thing about stuns is if say try and save one, like never spawn in and chuck both your stuns unless you're playing CTF and they're like pulling your flag, obviously, then you would want to take the flag. Um, but one of the things you can do is try and save one stun. So like throw one whenever, keep one, and then if you get pinned down, you can chuck that stun over and just obviously like slow them down and either run away or take advantage of the situation that they can't move that much and just jump out and shit on them. But either way, those like those are two good options there. Another good option is to see what your teammates are doing. Like, mate, be aware of your teammates because if you are aware of where your teammates are and you see someone die, you can check the minimap, see what area of the map they're on, and then you can kind of have a rough idea where at least one of the enemies are and go and engage. Or even, in fact, a better idea, guys. This is something that people have been saying. This is actually a better tip than that. What I'll say is if there's a gunfight, I'm going to try and explain this the best I can. Like, if you're on a door, but you've got a head glitch, and it's a 100% chance you're going to win. Like, there's no 50-50. Like, you are going to beat this kid. He is coming around the corner. Your head glitched. Don't move. Don't move off it till you've killed him. Make sure, Just stay there and get that kill. Like, use that to your advantage. Get that kill. Play off his stupidity. Never move into a 50-50 situation. Like, in that situation, if you come off the head glitch to challenge him, you bring it to a 50-50 situation. Obviously, so we're on an even field of gunfight. And people will call you a camper for this. But the thing is, like, I, I've never understood going from a 50-50 situation to a 100% guaranteed kill. Like, it doesn't make sense to me, so that's something I always make sure I do. Like, I'm, if you see around here, I'm playing around this area, going cover to cover. And I'm using this to my advantage. Just because I know it, like, most of these situations here are 100% favour to me. Like, except this one. This is a stupid challenge. Like, this, this here is a dumb challenge by me. So, I managed to pull it off because I had the silencer. But if I didn't have the silencer, I definitely would have died there. And that was, that was a, not a massive kill, but it's still a good kill. Um, also, guys, streaks. Never play streaks you can't get. Like, if there's streaks that you're not sure, like, say, say like, in this game, I run in Predator, Chopper, Reaper. If you're not so good or, like, you're not so confident to get the streaks or you're just starting to learn to, like, play Assault Streaks or you're just learning to get into COD, whatever, pick lower streaks, guys. There's no shame in it. Like, think of it, that, like, say you run UAV and a Predator, UAV Care Package Predator Missile. And you're new to the game. It's better to get three UAVs than it is to get one Predator missile. Like, because UAVs show you where people are. So you'll probably get more kills off of three UAVs than you would a Predator. 
So there, there's like a tip. Just try and like use the streets that you're comfortable with. Like it, it's it's hard to really kind of say this because I find a lot of people expect you to run like canine units and swarms in Black Ops 2, uh, off spray gunners in Mod 3 and that kind of thing. But, I mean, there's no... Do you know what I mean? Like, no one's impressed when you get, like, a double off-spray gunner. Like, it's it's not it's not a huge thing. I mean, it, you probably get about the same amount of kills as you would not running them, really. Like, because... And what I mean by this is, with an off-spray gunner, so, yeah, you, you'll get some kills, definitely. But you've got to play slower to get one. And then the amount of time you've played slower, you level out. Because, like, you say you get, like, 15, 20... Say you get 20 kills getting to an off-spray gunner. And then you get 10 kills with the Offspray Gunner. You probably would have got about 35 to 40 kills just using the smaller streaks that you're confident with. Uh, because you're moving the map more aggressively and obviously you're finding more people and getting into more situational gunfights. And that's like that's more important, I would say, than running big streaks because it just it doesn't really seem worth it to me. Also, as well, like if you're in a game, guys, if you've searched Domination, I can't stress this enough. Try your best to win because it's like the point of COD is to win. Like if I see someone with say a 4KD, a 0 20 win loss or whatever like that, like I just I don't even consider them a good player. Like it's because like they've let their team lose for them to go positive. It doesn't make sense. Like you need to play for the win, guys. Otherwise, what's the point? And that's like my first death right here. And that's a bullshit death because I was climbing. If I wasn't climbing, I would not have died. But that's how it goes. But yeah, like try and try and help your team to win. Like it's more satisfying in the wins, guys. It really is. Like there's times where you have to say uh, screw KD and just go for it, and it is better to play like that. And I think if more people play COD like with the mentality to win, I think this game would be a lot better because nine times out of ten, the people that call you out for camping are camping anyway, so it's just easier, you know. And I'm gonna also I'm gonna try and get another gun, like a different gun, uh, a different gameplay with a different gun. For the next video because i'm going to be uploading some mod threes and stuff now i had a lot of fun playing last night as well i was playing like some four man like four man team team zach i had four guys like all in and it was really good fun because we had a full team we were just like calling out playing and oh we, we're on like a 15 win streak right now i'm gonna see how much win streak i can get by ghost for fun um also for ghost i'm still not decided on a series i'm really not sure what i'm gonna go with yet like i've had a lot of suggestions but i'm really not sure I'm definitely going to do some sort of series, though, because I like doing series. I, just, I find it when there's, like, an objective to achieve, it's just more fun. It's just a lot more fun. Probably, as well, probably can go for a 5KD in Ghost. I'm going to, yeah. No, I'm going to go for it. Oh, yeah, just to clear up, guys. Um, someone posted a comment on my last stat update video because I said I have one of the highest KDs in the UK. And what I mean by this is there is one or two people that I have seen with higher KDs than me. But what it is, they have like 0 20 win losses. I mean, there's one that's got a 584 KD. Oh, no, no, sorry, 548 KD. But she has a 0 0.20 um, win loss. Like, it's like you dashboard every single game you're in to get a good KD. Like, that. that's really not impressive. You see what I mean? Because it's not legit. Because obviously, when you dashboard, a KD doesn't count. So it's, it's quite easy. Like, if you play one good game dashboard, and then that you play one good dashboard four, one good dashboard four. It's quite easy to do, which is what I think a lot of people have done now. And especially like, especially I, I won't say big YouTubers do that, but what I will say about big YouTubers is I do find that nine times out of ten when they play, they have three or four guys running supports for them, which isn't a bad thing, but it does make the game a lot easier to play. So you know that just saying. Uh, and I, oh, by the way, this is the gameplay is wrapping up, guys. I think the scoreboard should show up at the end because I'm not sure how you work theater mode anymore. I don't actually remember, so it should show up now. Yeah, there we go. There I am, top of the board, boys. 40 and one. Another gameplay coming soon. I hope these tips will help you in the future. I will be making another tips video, and I'll probably go a bit more in depth with more advanced stuff. So thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If you're not, there'll be another video out on. I'll do one on.